All right. Yeah. This is exercise number one. We're going to talk about balance and what you can do at home. This is something we do in the clinic. It's called the stability matrix or the balance matrix. So first, what I'm going to have Mark do, you got a counter that you're holding on to. So whether you're an athlete, whether you're a 10 year old, whether you're an 80 year old, it's good to start out just so you know your own limitations before you get too carried away and jump in the gun. So he's got a counter right here. This is his balance support system. Okay, so Mark, go ahead and put one or two hands. You're gonna stand right in the middle. And the first thing I'm gonna have him do is just tap forward with one foot and then tap forward or tap backward with the same foot. So as you can see, he's got a little bit of a knee bend. He's got a little bit of a trunk lean. He's holding on for support. Now, this should be a good base for everybody. Now, if this is too much movement, maybe you turn to the side and show him what you're doing, Mark. If this is too much movement, you can take it down a little bit. You don't have to reach as far. You start out just starting reach just a little bit. And then as you get comfortable, you gradually reach a little bit farther, if that's okay. We always say keep that one knee soft, whatever is on the ground. And as you reach a little bit farther, you might have to lean that trunk a little bit to counterbalance for you. Once you get really good, you just reach out as far as you can. The next step would be right now I have him tapping to catch his balance. And at any point in time, if you need to do that, that's okay. The next step would be to do no tap so that one foot is doing all the work. Now, ways you can progress this at home would be to take one hand off and use only one hand support. And then if he's really good, he can try two hands off. Now, depending on if you're wobbly, I would keep a hand close by at all times. And some people I'd say, you know what, at home, it's probably better just to keep a hand on just to be safe. If you're in the clinic and you want to work on balance, we can challenge you a little bit more. So we usually say about five to 10 reps on each side getting comfortable. Now, if you're more of an athlete, what we would say is you can add in the arms to make this a little bit harder. So first we'll start out in the sagittal plane. So we'll add the arms in as you step forward, his arms are going to go back. His arms are kind of swinging with his foot. As he gets really into it, he can reach a little bit farther. He could not tap his other foot. And another way, let's let's have a little fun, Mark. Why don't you speed it up just to half speed? Easy for you to say. Now, if you need to, grab on and you got your finger there. Sometimes the finger support is all you need. Now, if you are wobbly at all, I would not progress. I would continue with what you're doing to where you feel comfortable <clears throat> before you keep going. So what we like to do is we like to go forward and backward as much as you can comfortably. We also go to the side, so we go... We'll start him out with his balance. So we tap out to one side and then we tap out to the other side as far as you can. As you can see, his knee is bent the whole time. He's not keeping it locked out. He's using a little bit of a trunk lean to help to get a little bit more movement to reach a little farther. All these same rules apply. You can reach out a little bit farther and tap. You can add your hands. You can challenge yourself and maybe no tap. Maybe you don't reach as far when you do that no tap. And maybe you keep your hands out of the equation so you can focus on what you're doing. Now, can't stress this enough when you're at home. You got to be safe. Um, so don't get too much. Start very slow. Do a few of them. Do 10 of them. Get comfortable with that. Then maybe take it to the next step if you think you want to or if you're ready. Now, the last one we do, we did forward, backward, we do side to side, and we also do rotating. So I'm going to have Mark rotate his right foot to the right and around to the left. So that left leg is doing all the stability. Again, he's got a slightly bent knee. His hips are rotating with his foot. He's not just moving his leg back and forth. Then you can challenge it by taking away the hands, adding the arms to make a little bit more movement, and then maybe starting with a toe tap and maybe eventually progressing to no toe tap if your balance is good enough that you think you can do that. So that's exercise number one. If you have any further questions, do you want to add anything? One, yes, one other thing. You don't have to start with the forward and back. You can just start, take, break these down into six moves. Just go forward. 
or if you get comfortable. Just go back. Just go to one side, then the other, one side, and then the other. So you can break them down into the, in the visual movements also if you're not comfortable going back and forth with those. If you have further con qu 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 questions, call Mark and Ringo at Physical Fitness at for Life. Fitness for Life PT .com. <laughs>